I was born in a Burma, uh, where it's a, it's a very small village. And uh, growing up, I was without a father because my father died in, a, in the military. He got shot by the, uh, the Burmese soldiers. My father was a, he's kind of like a porter. He carried uh, stuff for the Burmese people. And he got shot on the way to territory where the Burmese people are going. And so that's when he was passed away. So it was, it was very tough on my family. Where I grew up, it's mostly Buddhist. Well, it's a Buddhist town, so, uh, so my families are all Buddhist. One thing that I remember a lot that my family would do whenever they walk in the night is that they would advise the spirit to come and you know, guide them and protect them. So that's something that they do a lot. Uh, growing up, I have a, you know, my family, we had to go through a lot of diseases. Like two of my sibling members, uh, they passed away because of the malaria, the diseases. And that's something that I have also. And my mother, because of these experiences, and when she saw that I have malaria, she also got discouraged. But she would try her best, you know, to get medicines and to, to offer sacrifice to a spirit to help us, protecting us. But nothing that she, anything that she does, it, it didn't help. But one day she, you know, one of the lady come to, come, uh, came and visit my mother and uh, gave my mother simple medicine to help me. And I was healed. So I, I later found out that the, the lady was a cousin of a Seventh-day Adventist pastor in the United States. Because of the war in our villages that happening and uh, the condition that we're living in is very bad, so my family, we decided to move to Thailand refugee camp. So when I came to a Thailand refugee camp, I have a relative that are Seventh-day Adventists and also as well as a, a neighbors that are Seventh-day Adventists. And so when I was in a refugee camp, the school that my mother sent me, it was, it was a Seventh-day Adventist school. So that's when I learned about Jesus Christ and you know, we learned to memorize the Bible verses. Normally when I go back to home, a lot of times the friend that I hang out with, you know, will share with me about the, the Bible and share with me about, about God. And you know, one time I, I took the Bible and I read it, read it from Genesis and I saw how the creation started, how God created the world and how humankind started. That really opens my mind and that really led, led me to believe in the Christianity because in a Buddhist belief they don't really tell you about the creation and other stuff and, and so that, that's the reason why I, I, I handed two or more Christianity and reading the Bible really opened up my mind. So, so I, I, want to, I want to give my life to God by then. But my family, specifically my mother, she doesn't really want me to be Seventh-day Adventist because you know she's, she's Buddhist and she, she wants me to be a, a monk. Even though my mother wants me to become a monk, I decided, because I found the truth about the Bible, I decided to follow God instead, follow the Bible instead, yes. So when I was 14, my family came to United States, in, uh, located in Washington State specifically. So we stayed there for a while, be, uh, but it was very difficult because they don't have a current Seventh-day Adventist church. But God opened the door where my mother couldn't find a job, you know, and uh, she doesn't want to move, but she doesn't have a job either. So she has to move to Iowa, the state of Iowa. And so when we were there, uh, we met Pastor Stephen Poe. And uh, he was related to the lady that brought me uh, medicine when I, I get to know him. So he told me the story where he, his relative lived, you know. So that's how I met him and that's how I get the connection. So, you know, like when we were there, Pastor Stephen really ministered to us, helped us to adjust to the life in America, you know. Um, kind of like apply for the green card and the food step and you know get like an appointment for the doctor that stuff and that really led my family to my mother specifically to open the door for me to worship at the Seventh-day Adventist Church and even to give my life to to Christ there. So when I was in um, uh, Iowa, the city of Iowa, I got so close to Pastor Stephen Poe and through him I got baptized into a Seventh-day Adventist Church and uh, Soon I, I felt the Lord's call me to a ministry. But I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know what I'm going to do. By that time I was only 15 years old. And, uh, but uh, I, I talked to Pastor Stephen about uh, how the Lord's calling me to do a ministry, you know, to be a pastor or something. And, uh, and then he got a connection with Elder Dean Corridan. And uh, he's, they're talking about how they could provide a better school for me. And so Pastor Dean Corridan and his wife, they will pray for me, and they, and they asking me the, uh, if, they, if I want to go to Sunny Day Adventist Academy, and uh, and I have the desire to go, and I want to go there, you know, because it will provide me a better education and to know God even more, because it's a Christian school. And uh, 
My family, first year, they didn't allow, my mother didn't allow me to go to uh, San Diego Adventist Academy and, uh, because she doesn't feel comfortable. But because of the prayer that um, Elder Dean Cody and his wife did for, for me and Pastor Paul prayer, the, uh, the following year, my mother actually allowed me to go to uh, San Diego Adventist Academy. And so when I was there, I was introduced to different works, uh, specifically the canvassing work. And that is helping me to prepare for the school here also, for the uh, Washita Hills College. So in Washita Hills, I really appreciate their ministry, you know, as far as spiritually. And I have seen a, a lot of my friends that go to different colleges that didn't really focus on the Lord a lot. And I hear they really helped me grow a lot spiritually, doing my devotion and spend time with God. So be, because of what the, uh, I experienced, you know, the medical missionary that came to my house and healed me when I was young. And I want to do, this to, I want to do the same with, uh, for my people or for other people. And I want to be able to heal people physically as well as spiritually because that's what the Lord has done for me and that's what I want to do as well. I want to thank God today, you know, for leading my life and watch over me, guiding me step by step until now I'm here at Washita Hills to be able to study and do His ministry in the future. I want to thank all of you for donation and uh, for helping also with my school bills and make all the possible way for me to be here. Thank you. God bless.